the 2019 Vios Racing Festival. Ended with an awards night for the class champions of the Vios Circuit Championship and the Vios Holocaust Challenge. Race Weekend was there to congratulate the winners and talk with them about their season and plans for their motor racing future. We're here at the Grand Hyatt Hotel in Bonifacio Global City for the awards night of the Vios Racing Festival, as drivers will receive their respective awards. After a season of thrilling wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing, as well as an exacting and exciting precision driving competition, the 2019 Vios Racing Festival ends with a festive awards night. Held at the Grand Hyatt Manila, we get to see the champions and other contenders in formal attire instead of their racing suits as Teolo Motor Philippines celebrates another successful season of the One Make Circuit Racing Series using the Vios and the triumphant debut season of the Autocross Challenge that also featured the sedan. As in the races itself, Teolo's Wakudoki spirit permitted the awards night as the champions and the runner-ups were called up one by one to receive their trophies from TMP's top honchos led by its president, Satoru Suzuki. Race Weekend was at the awards night and got to talk with some of the winners and the runner-ups including Anjo Perez who topped the media class during the last round of the Vios Holocaust Challenge, ending champion Jose Altiveres' unbeaten record and becoming the surprise second overall for the class. I'm here with one of the winners of the Vios Holocaust Challenge, long-time motoring journalist Mr. Anjo Perez. Hi Anjo, thank you for joining us here at Motoring Today. Hi V, thank you for having me. So, what are your thoughts on the uh, actually winning against these youngsters here in the Vios Autocross Challenge and despite just joining one race which was a double point system for you did you feel like it was really deserving for you and how well did you prepare for this race? Actually, I, I'm really surprised mm -hmm. I, because during the last race uh, I was, well, the guys re just requested me to join well, they wanted a senior to join the race mm -hmm. to see how we would fare against the new kids on the block. And uh, I really didn't prepare for the race and uh, I just did my usual stuff, my usual thing. And during the last race, uh, luckily I ended up on top. And I was even more surprised during the awarding ceremony that I got second place overall. I didn't know that uh, they gave double points during the last race. So, uh, well... Of course, I'm very happy. <laughs> Not quite a surprise was the final in Nigo Anton being called up to receive his trophy as champion of the car club class in the Vios Holocaust Challenge, although he admits to being surprised at topping all legs of the challenge given that all were driving similarly prepared cars. Well, I'm actually surprised I was able to get um, all the legs, but of course it's also very nerve-wracking because like new competitors, it's a new series and you don't really know what to expect. But you know, we just um, treat it like any other race also and not take anything for granted. So like, I'm really happy with my performance and uh, hopefully I'll be able to continue with. After all his success in the Vios Holocaust Challenge, as well as in the Philippine Holocaust Championship Series, Inigo is looking to step up to circuit racing in the near future. Well, I, I would say that all across will be like my all across chapter will be like ending, and next year hopefully I'll have a ride for the circuit challenge. I'm also planning to do um, a race of champions by Mike Potenciano, which is also happening uh, tomorrow. <laughs> yes, and like hopefully for 2020 as well. And um, looking, yeah, looking forward to actually trying to join the VS Cup or like Philippine GT, for example. And yeah, you know, it's um, it's a new challenge for me, and uh, hopefully. Hopefully, I'll be able to prepare for it. Having just stepped up into circuit racing is Julian Tang, a true novice in motorsports who was just 10 points behind co-leader Francis Adriano and Ellis Minorca heading into the last three races. With double points offered in the last three races of the year, Julian Rude missing on the championship but was nonetheless happy with second overall in the promotional class. 
To be honest, this being my first time engaging in motorsports, I would rate my performance fairly okay, like above average. But of course, having second place, not first, have being so close, you kind of also, I also kind of feel bad uh, in a way because I was like, oh, it's so close, but not quite. With having no experience racing cars, Julian is no stranger to racing. A competitive swimmer in his youth and later on in cycling, this served him good stead in the Vio Circuit Championship. I think the most valuable thing I've learned in motorsports is something in a way common throughout most sports. It's focus and drive and determination. It's because without those things, it will be very hard to compete and even win anything. So the most important thing is, especially in motorsports, is mental focus. Like how focused you are, how um, mentally strong you are will determine how good you perform in a race. Julian also attributes his good performance to support from his family and his team. First off, I'd like to thank my family, my parents who supported me all throughout, without whom I wouldn't be here, um, to Boss Costco, because the team is amazing. To uh, Coach Roland, because without whose support, I wouldn't know what to do in the car. And to my teammates, because they pushed me further than I probably would have been, would have gone. Also new to the Vio circuit racing, but not to motorsports racing itself, is Egeo, having been active in track days and various forms of time attack or time trial competitions. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with my performance, uh, considering this is my first year joining the uh, this Vios Racing Festival. Um, I've learned a lot joining this series. It improved my driving skill, driving technique, but most importantly, I think it's a test of character for me, eh, personally. So I think overall, as a person, uh, it really improved me, uh, the way how I discipline myself, mentally, physically. Actually, coming into the series, uh, I didn't think I have an edge because I was competing against uh, previous champions already uh, of the Vios Racing Festival. But for me, kasi, I just took it as a challenge to myself. So, para hindi ko naman tinitingnan yung other people, my competitors, I just wanted to keep on improving uh, my, my driving, my lap times. Yeah. After finishing third in the sporting class, Eggy is grateful for a season that saw him grow as a racer and a person. I really want to thank, uh, well, first of all, uh, Toyota Philippines. Toyota Motor Philippines, without them, I mean, this whole series won't be possible. Um, also to uh, TRS who organized this for us. Then of course my team, Toyota San Fernando, Boss JBT, Boss Mark and uh, Mama Mary. They've been very generous and supportive to me. The crews of TSF and the mechanics as well. A lot of people to thank for, but my wife of course, um, who also supported me the whole series. Uh, yeah, and my teammates, uh, they've been very valuable as well. And my coach as well. For Sporting Glass Champion Red Diwa, this year's Vios Circuit Championship is a redemption of sorts for troubles he had in losing his chance at the championship last year. This year is my redemption year. Last year, uh, I could have won the series, but uh, an accident came, so I lost the series. This year, I was consistent throughout the year, and uh, luckily I won the championship for the Sporting Glass. Red credits his success this year to his consistent performance that comes from years of competing in the Vios Cup. I think it's more on uh, the experience side. Jan's experience with circuit racing is just, uh, I think, it's two years now. Parang ako mas mahaba ang experience ko sa kanya. I think that that was the edge. Jan Dizon, I think, is the, one of the future drivers of motorsports here in the Philippines. So, I think it's more on the passing on of the torch to the new ones. But after thanking Toyota and many others for a great series, Red appears not ready to pass the championship torch to others. First, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Toyota Motor Philippines for a wonderful, wonderful series. I'd also like to thank Tuazon Racing, especially JP and Mam I for a wonderful, wonderful series. I'd also like to thank my personal sponsors, uh, Toyota Isabella and Graal Tule, for all year-round support for making it all possible to win this championship so thank you very much i'm looking forward to a back-to-back -back championship so hopefully luck is again on my side thank you
And that's our coverage of the 2019 Vios Racing Festival Awards Night. Be sure to check us out next week for more Race Weekend. The Vios Racing Festival has just ended, but already many of the winners are looking for opportunities to continue racing with the Vios. That's this week's World of Motorsports. Motoring Today continues right after this break. <music>